Greetings, it's Ali Kages, you guys, it's Hayden here, welcome to a new video. We're at the Goodwill in Orange, or Tustin on Orange. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, I'm looking at the handbags, seeing if there's anything exciting. They have a lot of these Target bags. It's a vintage one, it's like eaten up. Oh, there's this Herschel belt bag, but it's pretty dirty. This is almost a Fendi bag. Fan pin bag. Oh my gosh, look at all the Christmas stuff. Marathon kit. What is in here? Holiday movie marathon kit with essentials. <gasps> How fun. What's this? This is a notebook. <laughs> Little trees. Oh, these are kind of cool. $2.99. There's a lot of wrapping paper down there too. Santa's workshop, magic moments. There's so many goodies that they just brought out. Lots of fans. These, these kids have been here forever. I wonder if these went on sale yet. 60 bucks. Oh, this face is cool. Oh, it's so heavy. I don't see any markings, but it could be underneath that sticker. I think this is 10 bucks. Crystal. This is so cool. It's Villary and Bach. It's only 10 bucks. Oh, how cute is this? This is a Target. A Target. Um, a Starbucks Seattle mug. Do I get it? Oh, it kind of has like some wear to it. It's only three bucks, but that is really cute. I also really like the size of that. But we're gonna leave it. What's this green one? That's a Target one too. It's kind of giving off like those Kate Spade Lennox vibes though. This is kind of like a cool cup. It's from Macy's, this one's three bucks. This is kind of cute, it says Magnolia. This is a letter D mug. I know this is a Pottery Barn one. This is only three bucks. I think I might get this for my aunt. Because her name starts with the letter D. So I don't know. We'll see. But this is cute. I'm trying to find stuff already for like Christmas presents and stuff. So hopefully I can make good with this. Because I can never hold on to things long enough. If I buy them in months in advance. But I'm going to try to be strong this year. I found this really cute crystal cup. It's a Kate Spade for Lennox. But there's only one. I would love a pair. It's only two bucks though. Okay, I looked all over the place for another one of these and I cannot find it, so I'm gonna leave it. I would've just loved a pair. If I had a pair, then I would get it. But just like a single? I don't know, it's really pretty though. Also, I did go through all the plates and didn't spot anything. This is really pretty though. Like, like that piece. It might be like a Mikasa, but we're not gonna get that today. Oh, this multicolored plate looks pretty. I wonder if this is anything. Let's see. Echo design. That's fun. Every time I come to this store, I look at this piece. I love it because it's like a measuring thing, but it's broken. Blimey. I just picked up this really cute little candlestick holder. It's a Wedgwood, but there's only one. I wonder if I could find the other piece. I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find it. So, wish me luck. It was sitting right here. There was only one. Okay, I looked all over the place. I don't see it, so I think I'm gonna have to leave it. Though, like, you can always mix and match these things, but it's four bucks, so I don't know. Hey guys, we are back at the house, and I'm really excited to show you guys what we got today at the Goodwill. I also did go to Crossroads, and I'll show you guys what I got from there. So, also, if you're interested in any of the items that I'm showing you guys today, send me an email. It's hadrian at gmail.com, and I can let you know about availability and pricing. They'll also be um, available or shown in the next upcoming live sales, which are all scheduled for the rest of the month. So you guys can go check that out, see the, um, the live sale dates and times, and yeah, let's jump into what I got. Now... I have been 
already, I've started looking already for gifts I can get my friends and family during the holidays. I'm gonna try to be good this year. I'm starting early, it's October. So I'm gonna slowly build like little thrift boxes for them. And I, my aunts especially love it so, so much. And I love finding like unique crystal for them especially and dinnerware and stuff like that. But they love crystal. I think though this is going to go to my mom. I think she's really going to like this. And she can use it for like her oils or something. I don't know. But this is such a beautiful piece. I don't exactly know what you would call this. Some sort of decanter. But it's uh, by Villery and... Is it Villery and Bach? Yeah, it's a Villery and Villeroy. Villeroy, Villery and Bach. And it has a little stopper. Yeah, I love the shape. I thought this was really cool. This was $10. So, I got this. I can't wait to give this to mom. Oh, wait. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna... Mm. I already want to give it to her tomorrow. That's why I can't... Like, it's so hard for me. Especially with my mom and, like, my nephews and my dad. I like uh, all of them. If they're, like, my immediate family... It's really hard for me to hold on to stuff. And it's really hard for when, like, people come visit and I have stuff for them that I'm trying to save for another time. I just, like, want to give it to them already. But I need to learn how to be better about that. But I am not. Okay, next up, I got these really cute little star face hydro star patches. And they have tea tree oil inside of them. So that, like, helps with, like, pimples and stuff if you get a pimple. And it's in this really fun green color. You know, Bratz green. It was $6.99. Yeah, comes with 32 little star patches. So these are cute for when you break out. Then I got another little crystal piece. This one is Wedgwood, and it's a crystal candlestick holder. You know what? I figured I might as well. At first I wasn't because I only found one, but I was like, crystal, you can definitely mix and match it anyway. And... I have, like, a beautiful set of, like, Tiffany & Co. crystal candlestick holders. And I feel like this would, like, look really good with the mix, too. So, I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. It's really, really pretty. I really like the size of this one, too. And it was only $3.99. If anything, I can give it away also. But I just thought this was really fun. So, I picked that up as well. Then, while we were on my aunt's stuff that I got, uh, I found this letter D mug now this one i'm going to give to my aunt early and it was just her birthday so we haven't gotten to see her yet to celebrate her birthday but hopefully we're going to get to see her very soon and this is going to be perfect for christmas so this is actually a pottery barn christmas mug with a letter d on it and it's in this really cute plaid it has like the gold rim this is adorable this was two dollars and 99 cents this is going to be perfect for her for when she's like enjoying her coffee it's going to be so much fun and this year we're actually going to be decorating her house for the holidays. And I'm really, really excited about it. So, you know what? That would actually be a good time to give her this, too. So, maybe I'll wait. But that's going to be so much fun. I'm going to, like, film a whole video of that. I have so much holiday decor that, like, I'm going to decorate someone else's house with it. So, I'm really excited. So, uh, the only thing I'm kind of nervous about is, like making sure to bring the right stuff because I have so much stuff. So I'm going to have to like kind of pre-plan a little bit so that way I can make sure to bring the right stuff because she lives a, like about an hour away. So I have to like fill up the car with all the goodies and make sure that I have the right stuff and not bring the wrong stuff that I'm not going to be using. So it's going to be intense, but it's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that. But got this mug. Love it. Okay, then next up, this is the last piece that I got from the Goodwill. And this is a pair of these beautiful Bally shoes. They almost look like ballet flats, but they're not quite flat. They have about have like an inch, half an inch little heel right there. This is crazy, because I looked inside. This is genuine anaconda. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't make anaconda things anymore, so... These are definitely, like, a vintage shoe. This hasn't been in Italy. L please let me know if they actually still... Like, I know they use Python, uh, regular snake. They use water snake, regular snake. But anaconda? I've never seen an anaconda anything. 
product. So I know an anaconda is like a, it's kind of like a, it's, it, it is, is it considered a python or is it its own separate thing? Either way, and it's, says anaconda, so I was like crazy. So I got these, they're size six, if anyone's interested. And they look in really good condition. They are a beautiful ivory color, so they will go with a lot of things. And they are in pretty great shape. And yeah, I, and these like kind of like squared toe, very in again right now, right? So I just feel like this is also just a very classic silhouette regardless. And I feel like this, like any era, any time, these are gonna look good. And just, like, knowing that these are, at, like, this is Anaconda, it's crazy. It does feel like a python, though. But the scales are, well, I guess it also depends on where they get the scales from. But the scales are all very uniform in size. I've never actually seen up close an Anaconda scales. But, actually, yeah. Have you, have you guys ever seen, they have, they actually genetically modified like they bred certain snakes like i think they did this to pythons where they are scale less so they don't have any scales it is crazy like they just look like they have skin they're like skin snakes it is nuts so if you guys have ever seen those like if you haven't like look it up if you're not scared of snakes but they look cool like they don't look like grotesque or scary or anything it's almost like like their skin almost looks like a hairless cat and what's cool is if they have a pattern on their scales they have the pattern on their scaleless skin so and i like i feel like the the pattern looks more sharp too without the scales so i i don't know i thought it was really really interesting so if you guys have never seen or heard of a scale less snake definitely check it out i yeah i'm not gonna get into it any more than that but i thought that was really really cool Okay, now I got two bags from Crossroads. Our first one, which is definitely going to be available for stuff. Again, also, if anyone is, is interested, my email is itshadrian at gmail.com. I have it linked down below in the description box as well. And you can um, send me emails if you have any questions or would like to purchase anything. Also, there, I'm going to be featuring these items in an upcoming live sale as well. You can also always watch the live sale replays also and then items availability and pricing will be in the description boxes of those videos but this is a beautiful henry bendel kind of like fold over clutch crossbody bag and i love henry bendel i'm so sad that they don't have a henry bendel store anymore because i loved going into that store at south coast plaza if you guys have ever been if you guys remember that store there that store is beautiful and the bags are awesome this is so cute uh, it has a crossbody strap. The strap too is removable. There's a nice big back pocket, so then you can remove this the strap. Use this as a clutch. It's great. I love also that the top flap right here. This is actually a, a compartment, so this zips open, and this actually goes all the way inside. Like I can fit like up to my elbow inside of the bag. So there is so much room inside of there, which is great. And I love that on the zipper pull, it does have like these little uh, Henry Bendel charms on it, which I think are really uh, really cool. And the front panel of the bag is, it's like this like woven leather, and then it has like these little pieces that jut out. It's really cool. It's in a, like a glazed black in, and white and then brown. So it's black, white, and brown. And then there's the, this is like the main compartment of the bag and there's one zipper and you have that, uh, like a satin gold fabric interior lining, which is beautiful. And then this is where you remove the crossbody strap. Also, the chain is really nice on this. It feels premium. I love that. And it has a magnetic snap at the top. But this is our Henry Bendel crossbody bag. That is really, 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 really cute. And then next up, I have... This one was very exciting because this bag... I don't think I've ever found one of these that are made in Italy. So this is a vintage coach backpack. The leather on this is so amazing, you guys. If you guys already know the vintage coach stuff, the leather is superb. I love this like full grain leather though. It is stunning. So, so gorgeous. It's like, I think this is like the, I don't know if it's the mini day pack. I forget the name of the stuff, but I feel like it might be called the mini day pack. Correct me if I'm probably wrong. It does have the original hang tag right here. You got the top panel, back straps, fully adjustable, 
all leather. Love that. The top flap is magnetic and it does have a little drawstring here at the bottom and the front. There's a pocket right there as well. And then the inside of this is actually lined in this black striped fabric. There's one zipper and there's a creed right there. Made in Italy. This is a coach bag. It was handcrafted in Italy from natural full grain cowhide. Uh, Cowhide Gentle Tumbling provides a distinctive texture with natural grain variation. So, I love this leather, though. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I think it is stunning. This backpack is gorgeous. So, and that is it. That is our last item in our haul for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store, seeing what I got. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel so, so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a follow. Um, tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Again, if you're interested in anything, send me an email. It's linked down below in the description box. And new video tomorrow at 7 a.m. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys!